So here we are in another series of uh, of our past and present Garrick Moore players. We now have Big Jack McKellen, current Garrick Moore goalkeeper. Uh, doesn't need any introduction to anybody in Garrick Moore. Jack, how long have you been playing now for Garrick Moore? Seniors? Uh, I made my senior league or senior league debut in 2016 against the Moy. Back in the Moy. Four years? It's been a long time, mate. Eh? Did I? Well, yeah. mate, it was 2015 when we came, mate. My God. When did we last play our league, our league final? Our last league final, if you know, when was it in Dunyan? Was that was in Dunyan, I think so. I think 2015, so. maybe then? Oh, aye, possibly. Maybe a year before that, then, aye. Yeah, what age are you now? 22. 22, very good. What's your earliest memory of Kerry Moore football? Jeez, uh, a long time ago. He's probably a wee club maybe up on Dottie's shoulders in 05, eh? <laughs> probably the last one, eh? Very good, very good. What's your greatest uh, moment in playing for Kerry Moore so far? Uh, it's probably recently, you know, I'd say coming out of that Aiden Dork uh, drawing, or after winning after the drawing, you know, the team showed a lot of character, so it's not that they didn't think that we had our Oh, and it's maybe to go mm -hmm. in the depths yeah. and come out with a performance to got it. Aye, right, digging so deep. A lot of character, you know, it's probably one of maybe the proudest moments we part of, you know. Yeah, but they dug really deep. Who's the best player you've played with? Played with? Um, I've played with quite a few now. Um, I suppose the obvious one probably be the likes of Gormley, obviously, and Marty Penrose, but I suppose in a defensive standpoint, like, you know, it was nice having the likes of Mickey Slane and uh, Colin McCork down in front of you, like, you know, give you a lot of confidence, like. Yeah, yeah. Who's the best player you've played against? Quite a lot too, hey. Um, I suppose like Petey Hart from Maryville. He's super popular, like he's probably been yeah. born in the last couple of years. Like. Uh, yeah. I suppose different people that people probably wouldn't mention enough, like probably Collie Doris and the likes of them. Like, are a lot of hard people to go up and play against. Like. Yeah. Joe Holland is coming into the square. Like. Yeah, yeah. I call you Doris from Clonow. Um, growing up, did you look up to any particular player? Everybody thought Kenley don't mention him, mate. <laughs> Obviously, uh, you have to mention him. Right, yeah. Dottie, and I suppose big party he's been down most the last couple of years. Hey, yeah, he's an honor for nominal keeper, like way yeah. before his time, too. Hey, super, yeah. Um, apart, uh, apart from part Colin Kill, what ground do you like playing on the best? I suppose a decent record, no more. Good record, no more. Aye, um, I hear the parts could bring you. I very big, I hope him. At least you get to check out the way handy enough, yeah, yeah. Have you had any standout managers that you know, a manager that you've really related to so far in your career? What? I suppose we've it's quite hard to sing like any manager, I suppose you take you take a bit from everyone. Yeah. I've had the probably the the privilege of playing under a lot of great men, you know, I suppose my first year. Mm -hmm. Coming in and played with like Yavi and Dia, like then two men, like yeah. two great club men, like um played under Big Raymer, mm -hmm. um and all our still like another great man, big shimmy. Fantastic, you know, with great people. Personally, he knows how to motivate men. Yeah. And then now, I suppose with the current setup, uh, Ryan and Olick. Yeah, yeah. Strong, like, you've had you've had a good. Uh, I couldn't sing like any money or anything, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. Any regrets so far? Regrets. I suppose uh, it's hard to know. Um, maybe not playing that early enough and trying mm -hmm. to pursue a career at field which is never going to work for me. Um, never, that, never give up. Um, I suppose played Clareau in the quarter final or the, the quarter final championship in 2016. We were long ball in the square and I suppose we were a bit timid, maybe a bit young, maybe not experienced enough. And looking back on the video, you probably cut a game for it, maybe probably would have won that game then. They only basically a point in the last kick of the game, but yeah. Apart from that, you try not really, try not to really have too many regrets. Try to leave it all out there, but That's right. unfortunately, sometimes it just doesn't go that way. And you don't dwell on the regrets. Um, who's the best trainer you've ever trained with? You know, as a member of your team. Um, trainers. I am um, Spurlo. I don't know if Spurlo's fit or he's ignorant, he, but <laughs> he's the he's Spurlo's flying. Um, Rory Grimes is in phenomenal shape. A lot of them boys, Cormac Monroe, too, phenomenal athlete. Like, yeah. a lot of them boys yeah. are flying. Like. Who's the worst? Worst? Uh, probably me or Mackenzie, I'd say. <laughs> Funny enough, your father said two goalkeepers as well. Um, big party, we try and take us for a serious drill, and we can't do that. Had penalties on me, they must want to get a road past me. I try and dummy me into our side. So, <laughs> I say me or McKenzie. There's a trend starting here with goalkeepers. Um, who's the best character you've ever had in the dressing room? Best character, um, 
What was it? I mean, do you want like they'd have a you'd have your senior the best room and then your reserve change room? I suppose not really reserve, but just all the young boys. Yeah. So within in terms of young boys, like probably big Tommy, big Tommy, big guy out there, like. All right. That was a good story. Um, out there boys, oh, he, he just, he just great crack, eh? Yeah. He doesn't nothing, nothing ever. You can never offend Jay Z. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the biggest hothead you've ever played with? Hothead? Never played on me, but I enjoy watching Ray Mike right now. He's just full blooded there, right? <laughs> um, Oshin, Oshin would be fond of letting Beaver to go. Yeah. In terms of young boys, like. I'm very surprised nobody's mentioned Benny McLaughlin at this stage. I see, I've, Ben Jay never really, I never get to see Benji too wound up yet, like, lucky enough. Um. Who's the most underrated player you think you've ever played with? Somebody that hasn't maybe got the 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 praise he deserves or underrated. Um in my opinion he's very under his boy Lily like. Yeah. He's no doubt. He's he's been around as long as I've ever knew and he's and if anything, he's he's nearly getting better. Probably Lily's now he's, playing senior football sixteen years. He's in my opinion he's he's still He's always still on the fourth team on our team sheet. He's yeah, he's like, fantastic. He's a great leader. Yeah. Another one probably coming through be Jordan Kier. He's, people don't understand Jordan Kier is a mm. phenomenal fullback. Mm, yeah. like, plus the only probably only hand is Jordy's probably plays play both. Yeah. But Jordan Kier is phenomenal too, like. Yeah. Who's the best underage player you've ever seen? I was well, I would try and get a lot of games now in fairness, like, but there's you the likes of your James Dunn, he's your Daniel Fullard and Brian Cummings, a lot of your minor team. Yeah. They're phenomenal. Like a, 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 you, you take out any amount of them, but he's two majority lads. Yeah. All class, like. Yeah. You'd be hoping to see Jimmy Sweeney, a lot of them, but he's all. Yeah, there's a, there's, players, like. there's a, num- uh, a, a lot of talent coming. So there is. Have you any standout funny moments in your time <laughs> with the seniors? Um, no, there's a few, I suppose. Um, was why one one of the funny moments was there's a couple of those last year with two team bonding days and uh one of the W team bond team bond is down Donegal and uh the bigger end of the organised that were going down to the sort of like a water sort of activity and we went down and uh in this big hill I know and I took the notion that I would uh seen this other way he was down sliding way down there and what's the great crack and I've been sliding down off there only thing is there's a big rock in the bottom run up about six foot in the air off there. <laughs> <laughs> but myself, but uh, Cunyon before that, of course, it was happy Cunyon, like Cunyon, whatever way Cunyon slipped in, and the stone fucking into the knee and stitches. But that wasn't fair enough, he hurt himself. But that wasn't the worst half of him. Like, every man was freezing from out of the water, and the bus had to take Cunyon away to casually. Every man would just stand there by for about at least half an hour, froze out of their mind. Eh? <laughs> so, uh, sta- moment, standout moment. Well, that's it, Jack. 16 questions. You've answered them really well, and all I can, we can say is. You're doing a great job for the club, so good luck in your future and stay at it.